Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be another dupes video for you. I have done two of these videos in the past. If you have not seen them, I will link them down below. So I wanted to share with you guys some more dupes that I have found. I do apologize, this is not a full face of dupes. I basically only have face makeup. I don't have any eye products or brows or lashes because I haven't really found anything, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna keep looking though because I wanna do another video like this in a couple of weeks for you guys. But these are basically just face and lip products. But I hope you guys still enjoy it. And that's all I have to say, enough rambling, let's get on and get started. So let's just address the elephant in the room. As you can tell, my face is a lot lighter than my body, and that is because I don't self-tan my face. Just because I do have sensitive skin, but we're going to make it work with a darker foundation, so don't worry. So for today's video, my left side is going to be the high-end version, and the right side is going to be my drugstore version. So it's going to kind of be opposite for you guys, so I'll put it on the screen, and that way it doesn't get confusing. For the high-end side, I'm going to start off with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. I absolutely love this. I think this is one of the best pore filling primers that I do own. It's really nice because it has like this really lightweight formula so it's not going to be like greasy or anything on your skin but this specifically is only for pores so it's not going to mattify your skin or anything like that. Um, if you have oily skin you could use this in combination with a mattifying primer. If you have dry skin you can use this with a hydrating primer. You know what I mean? Like this is just strictly for pores. So I'm going to use about that much which is actually too much. I think this is good for like your entire face but obviously I'm just going to do half of my face but you can see it's like a skin tone color so I'm just gonna apply this I'm gonna just apply this basically where I have larger pores which is gonna be like around my nose my cheek area and like my chin and then with any extra product I'll just apply it towards the rest of my face it smells really good too it has like a citrusy kind of scent I really like this but I literally have an exact dupe for this it's crazy for the affordable side I have the BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro foundation primer this is literally the same exact thing there's absolutely no difference to this I promise you it literally is the same thing the only thing is this one doesn't have a scent to it whereas the Dr. Brandt one does but you can even see like when you pump it out it has like that skin tone color so it's crazy so I'm just gonna apply this again in the same area you can see just how smooth like the primer just makes your skin look like it just makes your foundation go on flawlessly I love it and don't mind my little friend up here decided to pop up this morning then I'm going in with the Smashbox primer water I absolutely love this this is basically just a super hydrating mist that you would apply before you can even do it after your foundation and it is just amazing I love the spritzer I love the way that it smells and I find that doing this is so essential especially in the summertime that way your makeup doesn't look cakey throughout the day so I'm just gonna spray this then for the drugstore side, I have the NYX First Base Primer Spray. This is one of my favorite primer sprays at the drugstore. This is not as hydrating as the Smashbox one, I will say, but it is pretty damn close for the price. I think it's awesome, and if you want a more affordable option, this is one of the best ones that I've ever tried. And even though this bottle is so small, I promise you get a lot of product in here. So I'm going to do the same thing, obviously. It feels really, really good as well. They both feel really nice. And the spritzer on this one is really good as well. It doesn't like shoot out, so it's not gonna like, you know, burst out on your face. It's like a really fine mist. I really love this. For the price, you can't beat it. Moving into foundation, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I have this one in the shade Y415. Hopefully this matches me. This is like my tan color. I feel like it's so hard to find foundations whenever I'm self-tanned, but hopefully I can make it work. I really love this foundation. I love the packaging, the fact that it comes with a pump. I think that's like an A plus in my book. The finish for me is very natural. It has like solid medium coverage. I think it's a beautiful foundation for the summertime because it's really lightweight even though you do get some decent coverage. So, and there are a lot of shades, which is a plus. I'm gonna pump a little bit of this right on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply this. I do have some scarring so you'll be able to see the coverage of it. I really hope this matches me. Remember, I'm matching my neck. So obviously this is not my foundation color like on my face, but I wanna match my neck and the rest of my body. I'm going to be using my black beauty blender just to blend that out. You can see how easy this foundation blends, like, it doesn't take a lot of effort. 
Then for the other side, I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. I absolutely love this. I feel like if you have this foundation, you really do not need the makeup for everyone. I feel like this honestly gives me the same exact effect. The packaging is very similar. It's just, it's super, super similar. You can find this at Ulta. And I have two different shades right now. I'm not really sure if they're going to match me. So I'm going to mix 645 Nude Beige with a little bit of 647. And I'm going to be using my pink L'Oreal Beauty Blender sponge. This is the best beauty blender dupe that I have ever found yet at the drugstore. So a bonus dupe in this video is this L'Oreal sponge is literally the same exact thing to me as the beauty blender. The only thing is it does rip very easily. So just be mindful of that. If you have longer nails, just be very gentle with it. But I think it's a great sponge. It just blends out my foundation flawlessly and it's really bouncy and squishy so I really like it. I also really like how it comes with like a flat side and then a pointed side for a concealer. It's just really convenient so I love it. So this is what the foundation looks like. Again, this is the high-end side. This is the drugstore side. I know the colors are going to be different, but the actual formula, consistency, everything with the foundation is the same. So Makeup Forever does have a little bit more shade selections. They have different undertones than LA Girl, but honestly, I would go with the LA Girl one just because you're getting the same effect for a cheaper price. And the packaging is awesome for both, so definitely go with the LA Girl one. For concealer, for the high-end side, I have one of my all-time high-end favorites. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I have two shades right now. I have Light Medium medium and medium. I'm going to mix the two just because I don't really know what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to just take a little bit of medium and just apply that right under there. I think actually that might match me good. Is this medium? I hope it's medium. Yeah, this is medium. Okay, so I'm taking medium. I don't really think I'm going to need the light medium. Do a little bit down here. Just like that. This concealer is super full coverage. It's one of my favorite high-end ones. It's really, really good. Just gonna blend that out again with the Black Beauty Blender. I normally always use a corrector underneath my eyes just because I have really bad dark circles and I mean, I sleep really good still. Like I always get at least seven hours of sleep and I drink a lot of water, but my under eye circles, it's just, they're vicious. So I really love this concealer though. It's amazing. And it just, it blends like a dream. Like, do you see that? I love it. Then for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Milani Retouch Plus Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I have this one in the shade Medium. I've never tried this shade. I've been using, like, the lighter shade, and I know I needed to get a new one. So hopefully this is good. This is the closest concealer that I have found to be comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, the coverage is not the same, but when you build it up, you can totally get it to be very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. I have a lot of favorite drugstore concealers, and like I said, none of them have really come close to being like this one except the Milani one so the packaging is obviously different but the formula is amazing for a very affordable concealer I really have been loving this again I'm going to use my L'Oreal sponge to blend that out this one's actually a little bit lighter than the Tarte Shape Tape so hopefully it works they don't have that many shades in the Milani one like they do with the Tarte Shape Tape, but if you can find your shade, it's really good. They could maybe have more online. I'm not really sure. I always get my Milani products from Walmart, by the way. I'm going to use a little bit more of the Milani one just to, again, get it to be a little bit more of the same coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape. That's what I normally do when I find that layering this concealer is never a problem for me like i never have any issues with it looking cakey i always have fine lines underneath my eyes that's just how my under eye area is and no matter what concealer i use high-end drugstore it always happens to me like i mean i've tried the baking thing i've tried everything and different eye creams it's just that's how my under eye area is it's always been that way so don't mind the little fine lines but regardless the concealer is really good so just to make these eyes look a little bit a little bit similar i'm gonna go in with the shade light medium and tart shape tape just in the inner corner of my eye a little bit just because this area is so much lighter okay so that is what it looks like so far again drugstore side high-end side Now 
Now for the under eye area for the high end side, I'm going with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this palette. This is like one of my go-to contouring kits. You can see I'm like basically all out of my favorite shades. I'm going to be using a little bit of the banana color under here and this lighter one just to set underneath my eyes and a little bit on the areas where I applied the concealer. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Sigma F35, the tapered highlighter brush. I'm not gonna go too ham with this because I don't want my face to look super white just because like I said, I'm self tanned. So I'm just gonna, you know, go a little bit light, lighter than I normally do. Then, this is crazy. I'm gonna go in with the Koki Professional Powder and Contour Palette. You can get this brand at Walmart. It is new. I did a whole video like me testing out their products and look at this you guys. It literally looks the same exact as the Kat Von D. That is what they both look like side by side. This one even gets a mirror so I think that's awesome. I'm gonna be using the banana color in here as well. A little bit of this peachy one as well just to set underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use the Royal and Lang Nickel contour brush. You can get this brand at Walmart. I will say that the Kat Von D one is a little bit more like smooth, a little bit easier to blend. Like you have to be very light-handed with this palette especially with the bronzers but for the price I mean you can't go wrong, you know? Like, it's a really great palette for the price. I really like it. Ew! Then to go ahead and set like my cheeks and pretty much like the rest of the area where I didn't apply any concealer, I'm gonna be using a little bit, a little bit, because this is not my shade, of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus. I know this is too light for me. So I'm gonna literally dust it in here. I just wanted to include this powder because this is one of my favorite high-end powders and I've repurchased it so many times that now with the dupe that I found, I don't need to repurchase this anymore because it's literally the same exact thing. So I love this powder so much. I'm gonna be using my Sigma Large powder F30 literally just dusting it in there a little bit and just applying a tiny bit on my cheeks because I don't need any more light powder on my face so love that then for the drugstore side I also need a darker shade in this I'm using the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder I literally just got a new one. I hit pan on my last powder. This is the best, one of the best drugstore powders out there. It is so beautiful. It's silky. It's creamy. It's soft. It doesn't give you like that powder finish. It just gives your skin this beautiful finish. Like literally just like the MAC Mineralize one. So I'm using this Real Techniques powder brush. Again, just to very lightly like dust this on my face. Typically I would probably use a little bit more, but like I said, I don't want to be like Casper on my face. So I'm just dusting it. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish up my lower lashes, um, like all my eye makeup and stuff, and then I'll be right back. All right, lower lashes are done. If you guys are interested in this eye makeup, I will leave it linked down below. I just filmed a tutorial on it not too long ago, so check it out if you are interested. So moving on to the rest of the face, I have another contour kit dupe for you guys. So for the high-end side, I'm just going to use this to bronze my skin. This is the Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Kit. This contour kit is a little bit more warm, in my opinion, versus the Kat Von D that has a little bit more cool tone shades. I mean, this color is a little bit cool tone, but overall, the bron they're like more like bronzy kind of shades which I personally really like but we all know Anastasia it's a really great contour kit I really like this one and I'm gonna use <laughs> I was about to show you the dupe let me use it first so I'm gonna be using these two colors on the outer end just to bronze my face because I feel like I need a little bit extra color so to do that I'm gonna use my favorite brush which is the up and up brand brush from Target I feel like when you bronze first and then contour, you get just more of a blended, natural look, like overall. So I'm gonna bronze first, and then I'm gonna go back with the Kat Von D1 to contour. For the drugstore side, I have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Contour and Highlight Pro Palette. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, and I absolutely love this palette. It literally is the same exact thing as the Anastasia one. If you actually go on Bella Pierre's website, this palette retails for like $50, so definitely check out TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross, because you can see they literally look the same. And the Bella Pierre one actually comes with a mirror, which is a plus. I think I paid like $8 for this palette, so literally the same thing. The formula is the same. The color 
colors are the same, so check it out. So I'm going to be, again, using the two warm colors in the Bella Pierre one for the drugstore side as well. I'm going to be using an e.l.f. complexion brush. I already know I'm heavy handed. Everybody tells me I know. Then to go ahead and contour on the high end side, I'm going to be using a little bit of the shade right here in the middle and probably a little bit of this dark one right here. This is super pigmented as well, so I'm just going to use a tiny bit. And I'm going to be using an angled brush. I'm actually just going to use this Isabel Scott angled brush. I got this from TJ Maxx and I'm just going to little bit contour my cheeks. I always go for like a natural look. a little bit I like angled brushes because I feel like it kind of does the work for you you know I'm not an expert with contouring but then I'm gonna be using an angled brush from Vanity Planet I'm gonna use my Koki contour palette and again I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using this color right here and a little bit of the darker shade be very careful with this palette it is extremely pigmented you just need to like a little bit if not it can be a little hard to blend if you like go in with too much product at a time and then go no don't do that for the high-end blush I have the Sephora collection blush this one is in the shade peach fusion these blushes really aren't super expensive you can even find them on sale a lot of the times but I found an even cheaper alternative that I figured I would share with you guys so I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna use an elf stippling brush and I'm just gonna apply this Then for the affordable side, I have this Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade 10 Adorable. Essence blushes, I feel like, are super like underrated. I don't hear a ton of people talking about them, and they're so good. They're so affordable. They're really long-wearing to be such an affordable blush, and they have really pretty colors. So even though this color is not exactly like the Sephora one, the formula is what is literally the same to me. So the Essence one, you can see, is way more of a baby pink shade, but they have other colors as well, not just this one, but I absolutely love the formula formula of essence blushes and I think they're like three dollars like it's crazy so I'm gonna be using this with a wet and wild stippling brush I think this blush if you're like super fair skin would be beautiful on you because it's like the perfect pink color it's not too pink and it's not too dark for highlighter, I have the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter. I have this one in the shade 02. This is one of my favorite high-end highlighters. This one is just like a really gorgeous gold. Like, oh, I'm obsessed with it. This is really intense, so if you don't like an intense glow, you're not going to like it. So I'm going to be using my Up and Up brand brush. This one is from Target. And I'm just going to apply this right to the tops of my cheekbones. Then for the drugstore side, I have the Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. And this one is in the shade 02 Day Glow. So you can see the colors are so similar. These Milani highlighters are amazing. They're really intense. They're super buttery. And I will say that the Makeup Forever one is a little bit more buttery. But honestly, like I said earlier, you get what you pay for. I still think the Milani highlighter is amazing for the price. And obviously, if you don't want to spend $40 on a highlighter, the Milani one is a great alternative. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to be as like creamy on the skin but it's still an awesome amazing highlighter it's one of my favorite drugstore ones so I'm just gonna take this on my morphe m501 you can see it's still like intense and so beautiful because it has like a little bit of that gold undertone to it it's just ugh. and the Milani highlighter comes in different shades as well I believe it comes in like four different colors so for a lighter skin tone or a darker skin tone you're gonna be able to have a highlighter for you. So I really like that as well. Woo! Woo! Then for lip liner, I have the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K lip liner. I actually am not a huge fan of these lip liners because look what happens. The whole thing literally comes out. So that's really annoying. Um, I like the color. The formula is actually really good. This is just unacceptable. So it's all right because I got a dupe anyway. But I'm just gonna line this side of my lip.
for the affordable side, I have the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Stripped. Packaging is very similar. This is what they both look like. The BH Cosmetics one, in my opinion, is better, and you don't have that issue with it falling out, so yeah. The color of the BH one is a little bit more of a pinky, but that's okay because the formula is the same. Okay, for the high-end side, I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. I'm actually not the biggest fan of these because they're not really long-wearing. You have to constantly be reapplying it, but the smell is divine, and I have this one in the shade Papa Don't Peach. For the affordable side, I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I love NYX Butter Glosses. I think they're awesome for the price. And the more that I use this lip oil from Too Faced, I realize that these are literally just like the NYX ones. And there's so many different colors with the NYX Butter Glosses. So I'm just going to apply this. These colors, again, are different, but the formulas are the same. I promise you, like go with the NYX butter glosses for real like they're amazing even the intense butter glosses are like divine so I would check the affordable option out obviously the lips are a little bit different but again formulas all right guys so that completes this video I really hope you enjoyed it hopefully you found some dupes that you could add to your collection let me know down below of some dupes that you have for some more popular high-end makeup if you guys want me to do another video like this doing like the full face like brows and eyes lashes everything let me know down below in the comments and I will search for some more dupes so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in a few days in my next video bye